Uh, Vice President Harris, in her remarks today, compared January 6th to Pearl Harbor and 9-11. Can you elaborate on what the thinking was behind that comparison? She's faced some criticism, especially in conservative circles, for that. Well, I would first say that, um, as the President also said in his remarks, uh, you know, when if we look back to some very difficult moments in our history, back in 1861, there were no Confederate flags being, ra being waved uh, in the Capitol. Uh, in very dark moments in our history, there were not people storming our nation's capital, uh, trying to take over the office and even threaten the Speaker of the House. Um, so uh, instead of, for those who are being critics of the Vice President's remarks, I think instead of focusing on or analyzing comparisons of moments in history, I would suggest that they be a part of uh, solving the threat to democracy that occurs today, that is happening today. Uh, and they are using this as an excuse not to be a part of that. Certain dates echo throughout history, including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were and what they were doing when our democracy came under assault. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941, September 11th, 2001, and January 6, 2021. On that day, I was not only Vice President-elect, I was also a United States Senator. And I was here at the Capitol that morning at a classified hearing with fellow members of the Senate Intelligence Committee. Hours later, the gates of the Capitol were breached. I had left but my thoughts immediately turned not only to my colleagues, but to my staff, who had been forced to seek refuge in our office, converting filing cabinets into barricades. What the extremists who roamed these halls targeted was not only the lives of elected leaders, what they sought to degrade and destroy was not only a building, hallowed as it is. What they were assaulting were the institutions, the values, the ideals that generations of Americans have marched, picketed, and shed blood to establish and defend. On January 6th, we all saw what our nation would look like if the forces who seek to dismantle our democracy are successful. The lawlessness, the violence, the chaos. I said it many times, and it's no more true or real when we think about the events of January 6th, we are in a battle for the soul of America. A battle that by the grace of God and the goodness and gracious and greatness of this nation, we will win. Believe me, I know how difficult democracy is. And I'm crystal clear about the threats America faces. But I also know that our darkest days can lead to light and hope. From the death and destruction, as the Vice President referenced in Pearl Harbor, came the triumph over the forces of fascism. From the brutality of Bloody Sunday on the Edmund Pettus Bridge came historic voting rights legislation. So now let's step up write the next chapter in American history, where January 6th marks not the end of democracy, but the beginning of a renaissance of liberty and fair play.